Good morning, Fent Siegel. Good morning, beautiful cornfields, and good morning, Autumn Promise, and good morning to all of you. So, once again, we are back here at South Hoof Farm, and I am really, really hoping that today, the foal will be able to be released back to his mother. We have been taking care of him for several days now, and walked him around the paddock, we fed him, we gave him medicine, and I just really feel like today is the day that he is going to be ready to be released back into the wild, especially since yesterday, it seemed like Spirit, one of the most wild stallions out there, was actually cheering the little guy on by showing up while we were walking him in the paddock. It was so sweet, and I can't help but feel that because Autumn Promise was previously one of the wild horses of this island, maybe, just maybe, Spirit has some, some sort of mission, some sort of hope for her. Maybe Autumn Promise, out of all of our horses, is one of the ones to keep the deepest connection between herself and the wild and what is going on up there <laughs> all right that's unexpected i bet a bunch of you guys already know about whatever glitch this is but this is kind of amazing uh, hugh do you know that you have a case of horses in the attic because you kind of do this is this is definitely very interesting how did that even happen how on earth did that even happen i i have so many questions that's kind of amazing. That is one of the best glitches I have ever seen in Star Stable. Well then. <laughs> All right. And that's also one of the best glitches. Uh, just somebody, like nobody riding the horse. Oh, look at the spots on this one. Violet, you have put together such a beautiful horse. Oh my gosh. I love the combination of gear that she used. Anyway. All right. Hugh, you have a case of horses in the attic, and I'm really curious to see what happens with this little foal. And I kind of want to see if we can maybe work with Spirit in the future, because I feel like he and Autumn Promise might have some sort of connection, if for no other reason than just really wanting to be the bridge between the wild horses of the world and the help that they need. So, let's see. Hugh, what's up today? The antibiotics should have had time to take effect by now. Fingers crossed the worst is behind us, and we can set the little guy free. Oh, I'm so excited uh, to follow up with Hugo about the fl Wait, deteriorating con No, a turn for the worse. Maybe I don't want to accept this quest. Excuse you, a turn for the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, guys. Uh-oh, this is sad music. Hugh, no. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, this is one of the most beautiful and dramatic setups they've ever done for like these kinds of scenes. No, Hugh, what's happening? What's happening to the little guy? The fall is going back into shock. It wasn't a bacterial infection. We're back to square one and we're running out of time. No, 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 no. Come on, we gotta make this right. If we're not dealing with an infection, it could be a neurotoxin that is to blame. Perhaps the mother grazed on a poisonous plant. I was just talking about needing to possibly check everywhere to rip up whatever poisonous plants could be by. Uh, not enough to make her sick, but when it passed to the foal through her milk, it triggered the symptoms we're seeing. This is why you should never, ever, ever feed horses or any other animals the food located outside of their fencing. It could be that the area inside has been carefully cultivated not to have any dangerous plants for them. But like I mentioned a few days ago, my friends have really struggled with taking care of their horses where they live because people will feed them things they shouldn't. And they often don't know that those things are bad for the horses until it's too late. I could really use your help to verify the diagnosis. Ride back to where we found the foal and search the area for any plants that look out of place. Most likely, what you're looking for is a nightshade of some sort. There was a really beautiful orange flower that I remember from a few days ago, but I wonder if that could be the culprit. Think you could do that for me? Great. In the meantime, I'm going to make some calls and see if I can bring someone in for a second opinion. Ah, uh, I think I know the vet he'd pull in for a second opinion too. She's really awesome in Dundal. Our patient won't survive another misdiagnosis. Good luck, Saga. Oh my gosh. Okay, quickly, guys. This is really terrible. Here I was all optimistic and thinking that we would be able to leave the little guy behind and in the wild and he could return to his mother. No time to use the gate. All right. Come on, Autumn Promise. We found him somewhere. Spirit? What? I can't help but feel like Spirit is looking out for this foal, right? There he is! It's Spirit again! 
Spirit, we have to help this foal, but do you do you happen to know anything about this? This is so surreal to be doing all of this and to have Spirit right here with us. <laughs> That's not quite the photogenic angle I was going for, Spirit. But I'm glad to see that you're happy to see Autumn Promise again. Oh, all right, come on. We've got to we've got to figure out what to do. He looks almost as upset as we do about the whole the whole issue that we're having. All right, you two. This is really cool though that we keep running back into him. Spirit, do you know anything about this? You get the feeling that Spirit wants to tell you that you have to hurry. It seems like a wild horse has become stuck again. Is it the same guy? Because if it it is the same guy. You know, buddy, I'm really starting to kind of... There's another horse over there, too. All right, buddy. We're going to try to help you again. I wonder where he's become stuck. I need to take note of the, the plants. Got it. All right. So we need to release that wild horse from the thicket. And we need to help the baby. So let's help the foal first. I need to check this plant. I really do remember seeing a beautiful flower that was here when all of that was happening. And I was thinking, oh, I haven't seen that kind of plant before. That's exactly the one that I saw. I remember when it was raining, I looked over. I think I may have even said, look at how gorgeous this plant is. And sure enough, I think that this is the culprit. And it seems like Spirit is looking out for this herd. And this is the herd that Autumn Promise is from. So everything is just kind of connected in the most interesting ways. All right, let's see. So this is the dangerous flower, huh? I think that this is the thing that is making it so that we have to worry about... My backpack is full! What? Oh my gosh! This is terrible! I can't believe I have too much stuff. Well, I'm pretty sure that this rye sandwich, maybe, has gone bad by now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have so much junk in my bag. I can't even help out. Uh, that, that sandwich has probably been bad for a long time, so I don't feel badly about that. All right, and now we have gotten this mysterious flower. Suspicious flower. This might be what got the foal sick. Bring it to Hugh. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take care of that. And again, I can't believe that Spirit is watching out for the wild horses. It makes so much sense, but I've never run into him in so like so much in the same exact place so let's go see if we can help out oh look and there's the herd on promise it's your herd i bet they're kind of rolling their eyes at the fact that this guy has gotten stuck again i wonder if he's in the same spot too all right so somebody's racing across here as well now did he get stuck over here again because that would be kind of interesting we need to find a spot where there's at least one spot that kind of makes this hinge where you've got the rock that goes on top. And it did look like that mysterious, beautiful castle that I still have yet to visit was in the background at some point, too. And what's that building over there? I've never actually been over to Epina, and hopefully one day I'll be able to get there, but I'm probably still pretty far away from it. All right, let's see if there's that horse stuck over here again. If he is, if he's stuck in the exact same spot, I am going to give him the nickname of the most ridiculous and silly stallion. All right, is he stuck here again? No. All right, so he didn't get stuck in the exact same spot, but it does look like the same horse, and it does look like he got stuck in a similar spot. So maybe he's over here. All right, come on, Autumn Promise. And maybe we'll be able just to take a ride from the Hermit's Place, because we have to get these flowers back to Hugh soon. But once again, we have the exact the exact same things going on. All right. Well, I'm going to roam through this countryside with Autumn Promise, searching for this horse who has been stuck. Was he stuck around here? This looks similar to the spot that he was supposed to be in flowers. I've actually never been over here before. Yeah, there's lots of the beautiful purple flowers. No more of those suspicious flowers, at least. Ah, but it looks like I'm not going to find that guy just yet. So let me see if I can locate him. And if we don't, then at least we'll get our way back over to Hugh and the foal. 
Huh, no luck finding that horse just yet, but at least we have managed to get back over to the rescue ranch. All right, let's take Hugh, this mysterious plant that we have found, and maybe we'll figure out what kind of neurotoxin is poisoning the foal. Hugh, you found something? Good, you're just in time. My expert should be here any moment now. Baby horse emergency! Ranger's coming! Uh, no, Thanks for coming so quickly, Ranger Violet. Oh, it's Violet! Thank Kima for the speedy arrival. Now, how can I help? Uh, no, I suspect this foal has ingested a neurotoxin through his mother's milk. Saga located a suspicious flower growing in the fields where the mother was grazing. Since you're an expert in Yorvian wildlife, I was hoping you could identify the flower and verify that it could be causing the foal's symptoms. I see. Let me take a look at that flower. Your hunch was right. Locals call that flower jasper weed. It typically only grows in dry areas, like the Golden Hills Valley. If it's spread to South Hoof, we should try to remove the outbreak before it gets out of control. I read about your rescue ranch. It's a wonderful idea. Jorvik needs a place like this. If there's anything the rangers- Oh, I think that's supposed to be her talking. Can do to help. Uh, can we wrap this up? Alonzo just radioed. We've got a Bigfoot sighting at Bramble Gorge. <laughs> a Bigfoot sighting. Uh, that's my ride. I should probably go. Thank you for your service, Mayor Shepard. Major Shepard. Likewise, call me Hugh. That's so cool how everybody is just welcoming him into the family of, of Jorvik so, so kindly. All right, Hugh, what next? Come on. We have our diagnosis, and we can begin treating our patient, but I feel bad for calling him patient or foal. We should give him a name. A beautiful boy brought low by a poisonous plant. <sighs> That's it. We'll call him Balder. I've updated the task board with new treatments. It will take a few days until little Balder is ready for release, so make sure to return each day. As he grows stronger, we'll mix up his routine. All right, let's get to it. Oh my goodness, I think that Balder is going to be keeping me on my toes. Apparently, we are going to be here a lot more than I thought, and that's totally fine. If coming every day to be able to help out the rescue ranch is something we're going to do, I think Autumn Promise and I are definitely happy to be here. So let's figure out what we can help out with today. The antidote, huh? Administer the antidote to the foal in the paddock. Got it. All right, so we found out what's poisoning him, which is a huge relief. I hope that his mother isn't getting too upset. I mean, she must be somewhere nearby. There we go. Stay here, Autumn Promise. Let's run over. Come on, little guy. It's serious business. I know it sounds like something pretty obvious, like staying away from poisonous plants, but honestly, that's not something a lot of animals just have an innate an innate idea of how to do, especially if you consider like a lot of them, like, you know, you see animals in the rainforest that look poisonous. Well, a lot of the animals who would eat them are native to that area. So over the generations, they may have figured out to avoid that color through some sort of just instinct that begins to be built in or possibly from watching others of their kind eat like a frog and die. But horses kind of get taken wherever we go. They aren't going to know the difference between a poison plant and something that they can actually eat. Look at everybody taking care of him. It's like four or five girls. There, there, Balder. There, there. Oh my gosh. Taking his temperature. All right. Now we need to give him some water. I almost jumped on the wrong horse again. All right. Let's go ahead. So let's give him water at the care station now. There's a little seagull sitting at the well. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Uh, wait, if we give him water, curses, I think actually the water is going to be over on this side. Oh, and now they'll actually show you which area you're supposed to be at. So I should not have raced away from that spot. I'm just used to thinking about the water being where the hose is. All right, let's run over here. And there you go, little guy. How's that? All right, clean the full at the washing station. Now we're working on hygiene. Okay, well, now that we're starting to get the daily routines of helping Balder down, I'll be able to take care of the task and just report back to you guys on any new developments and how he's doing. And I think that this will also be some excellent motivation to really start pushing and trying to get things done in Star Stable. Something's going to be happening to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur soon, and that was always one of my big goals to get to. Two and a half years later, because I talked through every single quest, I still haven't managed to get there. So I think it's time. And Balder, 
I think that you're gonna be the key in really helping me rush through some of the stories and just really savor, savor the adventures we've got. So now we're gonna feed him. Gotcha. Come here, Autumn Promise. There you go, girl. I love that we can do that now. All right, let's jump up. And time to ride over to the feed station. Look at this beautiful black and white horse. I'm just such a big fan of like the blacks, the whites, and a lot of the, the browns. Anything with spots too. I'm definitely a fan of spotty butt horses. All right, let's come over here. And then I guess after this, I need to start running all over the place looking for that other horse. <laughs> but I think that Spirit is in on it and he wants to make sure that the horses are cared for. There we go. All right, that did it today. Saga, looks like you're all done with your daily task. Shall we see how the foal is doing today? The foal is still ill and needs proper care. You have currently taken care of this horse for three days. I expect you need to care for this horse for four more days before he's going to get better. That's it, you're done for today. Make sure to rest up and come back tomorrow. The foal still needs your help. All right, guys, so it sounds like we're actually going to be having daily, at least on my end, Star Stable Adventures. Oh, and it definitely looks like I am riding not my horse, but I promise it's just Autumn Promise. And that does mean that I guess what I'll do is I'll tend to all of the foals daily tasks and maybe show you guys how Balder is advancing from day to day and the different kinds of things we might do with him. And then otherwise I may actually start adventuring a little bit. I know spirit. I'm looking for that other horse right now. I might start adventuring around a little bit and we'll try to do another extra quest or two every day in order to start making more progress and seeing what kind of really awesome adventures we can find. Spirit, could you maybe point me in the right direction of this horse I'm supposed to find? There's the wild herd again. <laughs> All right, so we're off to go find that goofy horse who somehow has gotten himself stuck in a bramble again. Once I find him, I'll show you guys wherever he was hiding. <gasps> There you are! I can't believe we rode right past you the first time around. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go ahead and set you loose again. Ah, this is... Is this, like, maybe your very, very goofy cousin, Autumn Promise? I can't believe he has gotten stuck in the brambles twice now. Let's go ahead and free him. There you go. And there is a, another horse right over there keeping an eye on all of this. I wonder who that is. All right, you're almost freed, buddy. There. All right, so we have freed the wild horse. Oh, what's this? The wild horse gives you a grateful neigh before it runs away to catch up with its herd. Even if you can't see Spirit, it feels like he's somewhere close by. He has seen what you've done and what you've done and is grateful for it. Nice work. Nice. All right. <laughs> Spirit and the Tangled Trouble. Tangled once again. I can't believe that's like two days in a row of the same Tangled horse. Yay! All right. And next time we see Spirit, we should hopefully have a little bit of a better quest with him. I'm not sure if you can actually see your relationship with Spirit. Like here? Maybe? Yeah, look! All right. So we're liked by Spirit. We still have quite a way to go before we have a bit of a stronger relationship with him. And what is up with this horse? Is this just somebody's horse that they have? I think so. I think it's just like a cousin. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, somebody just kind of has left their horse there to, to chill. But all right. So we've taken care of the foal. I'm actually really happy to know that we can show up every day and help the foal to start feeling better. And I'm really excited because it does give us the opportunity to spend a little bit of time doing the questing too. So I'm going to keep with Autumn Promise for now. She's not really much one for a lot of the quests that we're going to be doing, but I know she's really concerned and wants to make sure that this foal is taken care of. So as long as the foal needs care, Autumn Promise is going to be our number one horse. And that means that I'm gonna spend a little bit of extra time visiting with the hermit since we're here anywhere. You're here a lot, aren't you? Eh? You're here a lot, aren't you? It can't be that much fun, surely. Well, you'd be surprised. Maybe if some of us want to end up becoming a hermit in the future, this is the perfect place to gather inspiration. Or are you here for the horse's sake? Eh? You want to help me? Put this food out for the horses. All right, and I actually have a ton of, uh, I, hello, Autumn Pixie Claw, by the way. I actually have a ton 
of uh, like clothes that I need to put away. <laughs> so I'll probably work on that in just a second too. All right, let me go ahead and grab this food. There you go. I wonder where all the places that I need to put food out for the horses are. Maybe some over here? Apparently not. All right, come on, Autumn Promise. We're gonna go find all these spots that we need to put some food down. So I'm gonna visit with the hermit. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the horses. I'm going to race Autumn Promise on the races that are located here. And then next time we will come back to take care of Balder and continue on with some of the quest. So, whew, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.